And when it comes to the Democrats, they are massive hypocrites, and they're being exposed as nothing but political opportunists on the issue of immigration. I doubt anyone else in the media is about to show you these massive flip-flops. Take a look. I voted uh, numerous times when I was a senator to spend money to build a, uh, a barrier to try to prevent um, illegal immigrants from coming in. Um, and I do think you have to control your borders. Where it was necessary, we did support some fencing. Where it was necessary, we did add border patrol agents. We have done what by any fair estimate would have to conclude is a good job, quote, securing the border. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. The American people will never accept immigration reform unless they truly believe that their government is committed to ending future illegal immigration. But those who enter our country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law. And because we live in an age where terrorists are challenging our borders, we cannot allow people to pour into the U.S. undetected, undocumented, and unchecked. It shows how far left now this Democratic Party has moved. By the way, anyone else going to point out the hypocrisy? I guess now that it's politically expedient for the Democratic Party and now opposing the policies they were passionately supporting in mass. Now, FoxNews.com has a great article up today showcasing the Democrats' blatant hypocrisy on immigration. Here's the headline. Dems changed tune on border wall after backing barrier oh, under Obama. And the reporting points out that five years ago, under Barack Obama, the entire Democratic caucus voted to build 700 miles of fencing along the southern border. It's the same area that President Trump's proposed border wall would cover. They didn't get the job done, and it doesn't end there. The bills Democrats supported, which was called the Economic Opportunity and Immigration Modernization Act, also included $40 billion over a decade to strengthen border security measures and also called, the doubling the number, called for doubling the number of border agents to be hired. Would have been a good idea. Here's what this tells us. Democratic Party and their opposition to what President Trump is asking for it's nothing but a total farce. It's about playing politics, identity politics. It has nothing to do with the facts and reality about what is going on at the border. Look, I have personally been reporting from the border at least a dozen times. Horseback, all-terrain vehicle. Uh, I've been out there on helicopters and boats. I've done it all, all of it. I've seen gang members being arrested. A warehouse, the biggest one you've ever seen. Floor-to-ceiling drugs that were confiscated. I've been in a drug smuggling tunnel and much more. The problems down there are real. Human trafficking, drug trafficking. Democrats don't want to address these issues because they'd rather try and now score cheap political points.